Can you spot the massive crack in this cow's hoof? No? I bet you can now. This is the Hoof GP. So this cow was easily the lamest cow of the day. This is her front right foot, and to the average hoof trimmer, looking at feet like this, the problem is immediately obvious, and it's a very large problem. I start by cleaning off the base of the hoof with my grinder and then with my knife. This crevice is full of dirt, debris and little stones and I don't want them to cause damage to my grinder or to my face. Then we move on with the task in hand, balancing out the two claws. Now I said this problem was immediately obvious to me, and it was. Let me know in the comments right now if you can see exactly where that problem is and what gave it away for me. There we go. That is the telltale sign. The heel bulb, the hoof horn around the heel of her hoof has completely detached. And that lets me know that most likely the vast majority of this sole horn is also detached meaning there's most likely an abscess underneath and that abscess is what's causing her the pain. I wouldn't usually reduce the height of the outside claw because I want all of the weight to go on there but I know we're going to need a block in this case. I'm absolutely certain of it so I've already begun to prepare it. Now I need to thin out this sole horn so that I can use my knife to peel away the layers of hoof horn that will reveal the true problem. You'll regularly see both me and other hoof trimmers press on hoof horn like this. And you may think it's putting some sort of discomfort into the cow, but really we're feeling to see the extent of the detached hoof horn. And in this case, I'm fairly sure it descends all the way down to here now. And there's only one way to find out whether or not we're correct. I'm using the grinder here to reduce the amount of hoof horn on the sole of this cow's hoof. That's because when you need to put a huge amount of pressure through even such a sharp blade as this, you can't always be as precise as you would like to be. So yes, although this knife is incredibly sharp, hoof horn is also incredibly tough. So the thinner the layer we have to remove, the more precise we can be. The liquid you can see spilling out of the cavity and dribbling down her hoof is a mixture of congealed blood, pus and slurry from her surroundings. Yes, this cavity was encapsulated, but there was an opening at her heel and that has allowed the dirt and debris from her environment to enter the cavity. We're getting close to the source of the problem now, but there's definitely a substantial amount of hoof horn still to remove. Here we get the first glimpse of where the problem has emanated from. This is known as a white line lesion, and it's something that is common in cows kept on concrete, which is why routine hoof trimming is so important. Stripping layers of hoof horn like this can be very time consuming, but trust me, it is absolutely worth it. If we weren't to remove this detached hoof horn, all that would happen would be the sole would continue to delaminate and the cow would remain in pain, but even worse than that, she wouldn't start the road to recovery. If you imagine a thousand sheets of paper next to another thousand sheets of paper, all interlaced so their edges folded one between the other, 
That is how the hoof horn on the side of a cow's hoof is held to the interior of her hoof. That is called laminae. These laminae form an incredibly strong attachment inside the hoof capsule, but sometimes those laminae become inflamed and they force each other apart and force the hoof wall away from the interior of the hoof, which is exactly what's been happening to this cow. We can reverse that inflammation by taking all of the stresses away from the affected digit, which is exactly what Bovibond is helping us to do here. We are applying a block using a two part epoxy resin that is incredibly strong. That block will take all of the cow's weight while hopefully that lesion begins to heal. Looking at the completed trim here is massively satisfying for me. That foot was incredibly painful when we started and now we've removed all of the weight from the affected digit using that block. We've removed all of the necrotic tissue around the lesion and now we're treating it with something that will help it to start to heal. This is one of the most satisfying jobs I've ever come across in my life and I'm lucky to be able to call it my career. Guys, this has been the Hoof GP. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you've subscribed for video updates on cows just like this.